Also now to an act of arson caught on camera after two vehicles caught on fire in southwest Miami-Dade. Local 10 News reporter Trent Kelly is live at that scene with the charred cars and what they think happened out there. Trent? Well, Christy, the owner of this of these cars actually says this is the second time this week someone has tried to torch one of his vehicles. Right behind me is all that's left of that Mustang, an iconic sports car that today is left unrecognizable. Two cars torched in a matter of seconds. The flames caught on camera shooting into the sky. I got the, the sixth sense to wake up, look out the window. The owner, too rattled to go on camera, says it all started around one in the morning. And I saw uh, a red Kia, a little box Kia missing some uh, hubcaps. The car stopping right in front of his home on Southwest 79th Terrace. One man hops out and appears to pour accelerant all over his Mustang. I went to this window, grabbed my gun, went to the, the side window, didn't have a view to shoot. By that time, this car had lit. Cameras rolling as firefighters rushed to put out the flames, the bright orange glow startling neighbors. Came out of my house right here, and when I walked over here, I saw flames, and they were uh, they were above the house. The owner says this isn't the first time it's happened. Just the other day, he says someone tried to set this work truck on fire. One reason, the owner installed these surveillance cameras. It's personal, yeah. It's definitely personal. No, no one gets their cars lit on fire twice. With both vehicles completely charred, the owner is offering his own reward, $10,000, for any information that will lead to an arrest. We don't deserve this. For this to happen to me is, is just surprising. And back out here live, the owner of these vehicles says both the Mustang you see here and that pickup truck, they are both total losses. He believes someone he's had a work related dispute in the past may be behind this. He's not entirely sure, though, at this hour, both police and firefighters are still investigating this case as a possible case of arson. Reporting live from Southwest Miami-Dade, Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.